welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys because yesterday we had all of the big messy news and we had a big messy interview today well it's Chavi's turn he has been speaking there to the media with interviews with Movie Star and also Gerard Romero today and we're going to be talking about some of his words he spoke at length about Lionel Messi about his decision to join Inter Miami this summer and Chavi also spoke about a number of other transfer targets it's including Vitor Roque, including Joshua Kimmich, and also Neymar as well. And I think these are interesting words, because obviously, remember that given we can't sign Messi now, given that he's not returning, our transfer plans are going to change. Suddenly, there will be a different approach from Barca, there will be more room to manoeuvre in terms of wages allocation, and that is why today, Chaffee's words were very interesting and honest, so let's discuss them. Because it has been a big few days, guys, and today's video is coming to you courtesy of Manscaped.com, because Father's Day, it is coming now. The 18th of June, the clock is ticking. You've got to get your gifts sorted out. Come on, guys, you've got to get moving on this. And even if you are all covered with Father's Day, well, summer is here. You know, the sun's out, the sun is shining, and you want to be feeling good and looking good. And that is where Manscaped comes into its own. They have the very latest men's grooming products, along with everything you need for skin and hair care, and they've also got plenty of products available there for your beard and your lifestyle too. So just head over now to manscaped.com, get yourself sorted out wherever you are in the world. Very, very quick delivery on that, and if you apply the code TALKFCB at checkout, what you will get there is 20% off your order. A nice saving that you can bag yourself, and a big thank you here today for Manscaped. They continue their great support on the channel. It is a really, really big help to me. And you guys are such a big part of that too. You make it all possible. And I really, really appreciate that, guys. So please head over right now to manscaped.com. Have a look around. Have a look what's on offer. And I'm absolutely sure you will not be disappointed. And don't forget to use the code TALKFCB at checkout. Because when it comes to those words from Chaffee, I think very early on, you could feel the honesty today from our head coach. Because he came out early on with a pretty strong statement on Barca in Europe, their performance, and also the Europa League in particular. Speaking there about our ambitions moving forward, he said openly, I've already told the players we can never play in the Europa League again. He said, I'm sorry, but Barcelona are not made to play in the Europa League. It does not motivate the players nor the fan base. We have to play in the Champions League and we have to aspire to win it there. So Chaffee making it absolutely clear, no more Europa League. And I'm with him on that. Nobody wants it. Let's put that behind us. He said, we did not compete well in the Champions League this season. He said, we did have the most difficult group and without it being an excuse, injuries played a part. But he said next year, I believe we will compete much better because this team has learned to win. But we still have to reinforce the squad to compete on all levels. So Chaffee there, confident ahead of next season, but just reiterating there, we still need to reinforce. Now, speaking of those reinforcements in particular, Chaffee today spoke at length about midfield. He kept on repeating there, we still need to do more in that area. He still wants a lot more from the team. And that is especially where we're going to focus our attention, it seems, in this coming transfer window. Because Chaffee said, our team is still lacking in midfield. Our central play, it's still not good enough. He said, I need two midfield signings this summer. He said, I lack an interior and with Busquets' departure, we also need a pivot. That has to be our priority. So Chaffee, they're targeting two midfield signings this summer and he's made that very, very clear. But there have also been plenty of rumours as well about a right back and there's been lots of speculation there about Jules Koundé's future, about his position, where we're going to see him next season and how Chaffee seems to view that. And he did certainly answer a lot of those questions here. He said, I didn't sign Kunde to play as a right back. He has been an emergency solution in that area because we're missing a right back, but he has played very well there. He said there is no problem though with Kunde. The good thing about our dressing room is that the players think as a team before they do as individuals. And it doesn't sound next season as though the plan is for Kunde to continue at right back. Chaffee openly saying there, I didn't sign him to do that, which may explain now why Kunde has no intention 
intention of leaving, we know that he spoke at length with Xavi, and it seems like his future has been resolved. Centre-back is the focus for him next season. Speaking, though, about focus, we do indeed have to talk about Ousmane Dembele, because I think Xavi today was extremely honest when it came to his assessment of Dembele. He said Dembele can be a 2 out of 10, or he can be a 10 out of 10. He said our goal is to make him more of a 10 out of 10. He said he knows football more than anyone, and his potential is enormous when a fullback is defending him. You know, when they're up against Dembele one versus one, he said, I know they are afraid. And it's all about now finding that consistency with Dembele. He said Ousmane is loved in the dressing room, though. He's very honest. He's often joking all of the time. And he said he's really, really important to me. He's turned the whistles into cheers and Dembele is happy here. That's what Chaffee said there. He wants to stay and he's always been clear with me on that. And that is certainly interesting timing today because we have heard lots of rumours in the media this morning that Barca have received really positive feedback from Dembele about his renewal, about the offer that's on the table there until 2027, a long-term deal and apparently Dembele does want to stay. His renewal is only a matter of time because he really enjoys working here under Xavi and he feels very much at home now at Barca. There was though, of course, and rather inevitably, plenty of talk about Lionel Messi because obviously a lot was made in the days before that final decision from Leo about Xavi's words when Xavi kept saying, you know, it's going to be Messi's decision, it's in his hands, only he will decide his future and a lot of people really made a lot of that but I think Xavi here just explaining what he meant by those words and ultimately in the end that it was Messi's personal decision. He said, I was convinced that Leo could help us a lot. You know, he said, I wanted to sign him. The decision, though, depended on him, and we were very, very excited. But he said, in the final days there, in those last days, I noticed that Leo didn't see his return in such a clear way. He said it was actually Jorge Messi who told the club that Leo won't be returning. And Chaffee said... We have to understand that. He said, being messy, he said, we don't really know how that feels. It's not easy. He said he never has peace. And for the last two years, he's been unhappy. I'm sure that Xavi there knows that well. And he said, I can understand that he doesn't want as much pressure anymore. He wants a calmer life for his family. And he said, we have to respect that. He will still have, and he always has, my love and support. So Xavi there fully understanding the decision. And I think here, with what we've heard from Messi yesterday in his interview, Xavi here to today talking about his thoughts on it. There's no ill feelings here. There's no bad feelings between the parties. It was something that we wanted to happen. We tried to make it happen. Both sides in an ideal world would have made it happen. But it just didn't work out in the end. And now it's about respecting Messi's decision, his choice, that next step, and ultimately being happy, I feel, for him and his family on that new adventure in America. But of course, after Messi was no longer an option for Barca when that saga came to an end last night, rather predictably, we suddenly started hearing Neymar rumours. I mean, out of nowhere, Messi door shuts, Neymar door opens. There were suggestions there that a few people inside of Barca were starting to think about Neymar. We're not ruling him out anymore. We're starting to wonder, could we maybe make a move for him? But it was stressed in the media, though. The sports area of Barca didn't really see it that way. And I think Chaffee very much confirmed that today. He said, in theory, he is not in our sports planning. We are not planning to have Neymar next season. He said, I appreciate him enormously as a person, as a friend. But Chaffee made it clear, we have other priorities. So Neymar, not on the table right now for Barca, despite a lot of these rumours that we inevitably hear. And on the topic of Brazilians, Chaffee also spoke a little bit about Vitor Roque. There's been plenty of speculation of late that maybe Barca won't be able to get that deal done, that maybe a signing could already be ruled out. But Xavi didn't really sound like a man today that felt that way. I think it was still very much an open situation that's still ongoing. He said Vitor Roque is a player that we're following. We are well informed of his situation and it's a signing that Xavi says is under our control. But he said our financial situation will be crucial to decide what is going to happen. So I'll read that there 
whereas the door is still open for Vitor Roque, the club clearly are very interested in him, but ultimately it's going to come down to that financial situation. We've heard it many, many times before, but that is still dictating our summer window before finally there. I thought there were some really intriguing, and I would almost go as far to say cheeky words from Xavi when it came to Kimmich, because we all know there's interest from Barca that if Kimmich was to be on the market, we would be all over it trying to get a deal done, but there is a realisation that it would be an incredibly tough deal to complete, and Xavi, I feel today, just stoking the fire a little bit, just putting it out there that we never know what may happen, because he said, I actually spoke to Kimmich in Qatar, and he said that he was a big fan of mine. Kimmich has made no secret of that at all, but he said he is under contract with Bayern Munich, so it depends a lot on his decision and his desire. And Xavi just decided to throw it in there. He said, look at Levy, for example. Look at Lewandowski. He really wanted to come. So that was almost there like a little message to Kimmich. You know, if you are a big fan of mine, if you do look at Barca, if you are looking in our direction, you have got to make that clear. You have got to show your desire in the same kind of way that Robert Lewandowski did. That's the only way that we can really start to talk about this deal. But I did think that was an interesting comment there, just thrown in at the end from Chaffee. And I think in general right now, guys, what we do have to do, everybody here together as a collective, looking forward at Barca, Sir, we've got to keep going now this summer. The Messi saga was certainly one which took a lot of energy. You know, a lot of emotion was involved in that. And it really was a shame in the end that it didn't work out and that Messi couldn't make that incredible return. But now we've got to keep going forward. We've got to look at other targets. We've got to reevaluate our transfer plan. And we have to make sure that at the start of next season, Xavi is well equipped in every single area of his squad. This is the part now where we have to make strides forward. This is the important part where we've got to put everything together and add to this winning squad. Please let me know in the comments down below today, guys, your thoughts on Xavi's words, the insights that he's given, and how you are feeling ahead of our summer transfer window. Let let me know all of that in the comments down below. Big, big thank you to all of you for tuning in here over the past few days. It's been a bit crazy, a lot of uploads happening, and a lot of big news breaking. But let's wait and see what these next days and weeks hold. Now, I will see you soon for all of that, guys. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca.